Bulgaria is one of the initial targets in Russian strike. Poland prepares citizens for war with Russia. The Bulgarian right-wing party Revival has issued a stark warning suggesting Bulgaria could become one of the initial targets in a potential Russian military strike, according to Novinite media outlet. Consequently, the party argues for Bulgaria's withdrawal from NATO. Sancho Ganev, speaking on behalf of the Revival Parliamentary Group, asserted that NATO is not merely a defensive bloc, but is actively involved in a military campaign against Russia in Ukraine. Ganev called for a national referendum to decide Bulgaria's NATO membership status. Ganev emphasized his belief that the war in Ukraine is nearing its conclusion, with Ukraine losing ground and a Russian victory imminent. He highlighted the presence of a NATO command center in Varna for over four years as a reason why Bulgaria could be targeted by Russia. In his address to Parliament, Ganev urged acting Prime Minister Dimitar Glavchev to provide clarity on Bulgaria's stance, which will be presented at the upcoming NATO summit in Washington next month. While foreign policy decisions rest with the Council of Ministers as a parliamentary republic, we have the right to know Bulgaria's position. Ganev remarked, stressing the need for transparency in Bulgaria's foreign policy ahead of the NATO summit. Poland has seen what has happened to its Ukrainian neighbor since Russia's full-scale invasion and doesn't intend to be caught unprepared as Kyiv was. Even before Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine began in February 2022, Poland had decided to modernize and rearm its armed forces, but that process really took off because of the invasion. With Warsaw declaring it wanted to create the largest, best-equipped armed forces in Europe by 2035, Colonel Pavel Galaska, commander of the 18th Lomza Logistics Regiment, a unit training the volunteers, said. The army wants to train as many citizens as possible. Everyone knows about the threat that comes from the east. He said at the end of the training, the successful volunteers will take a soldier's oath in which they swear to serve loyally the Republic of Poland even at the cost of losing their life or blood. North Las Vegas police said officers responded to the Craig Ranch Villa's apartment complex and found five people in two different apartments dead from apparent gunshot wounds. They identified the suspect as 47-year-old Eric Adams. Officers arriving at the apartment found two adult women, one in her early 40s and another said to be in her late 50s, suffering from apparent gunshot wounds. Both women were pronounced dead at the scene, police said. As of this report, neither woman had been publicly identified. Also inside the apartment, police found a 13-year-old girl suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. She was taken to University Medical Center's trauma center, where she was said to be in critical condition. Two women in their mid-twenties and a man in his early twenties were soon found dead from apparent gunshot wounds in a neighboring apartment, police noted in an updated press release. The three additional victims are believed to have been shot by Adams, according to police. The North Las Vegas Police Department said the suspected shooter, Eric Adams, killed himself as he was confronted by officers in a neighborhood. Authorities had been searching for him since shootings in separate apartment units. As officers arrived in the area, they saw the suspect with a firearm running into the backyard of a nearby home. The department said officers followed him but the suspect refused to drop his weapon and died by suicide. Police haven't disclosed a motive for the shootings. I'm going to go to the next one.